All right, so I'm shipping out a bundle for Depop. Um, free shipping on this one. They got a pretty good deal. Um, got They got this champion, this vintage champion shirt, um, two-tone shirt. And then they also got in the bundle, shipping, that, shipping this out as well, uh, this Blackhawks 2013 championship tee a uh, huge logo really cool um it's a good bundle they got a pretty good deal on it um so yeah happy about that i was able to uh to give them this uh this bundle and then for poshmark um from my poshmark mark store someone picked up this chicago bulls uh vintage lee polo lee sport polo and it's the um the six championships um embroidered lee sport shirt really cool it's been in my uh it's been in my poshmark store for about i want to say six months um thankful for the last stand um i'm pretty sure that someone watched the last stand and then they probably typed in Chicago Bulls in Poshmark and this came up and they made a good offer on it and uh yeah um sending this out so um a few good sales that uh went out actually I didn't make much on this um long story short I am probably going to move from um free shipping on bundles to uh like the buyer paying for like um shipping f for like the uh the most expensive item on um the shipping just because i'm not able to make a profit off of it so um yeah you got the last free bundle out of my store so congratulations to you man um i'm glad that you were able to make that All right, so I sold a few things. Um, first thing I sold was this uh, Lord of the Rings box set from 1970. As the Hobbit, you know, the, the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, found this at, I think, a uh, Goodwill maybe, maybe six months ago. And I just got around to listing it yesterday it sold almost immediately picked it up for i want to say five bucks and i sold it for 25 which was awesome and then since i'm collecting um if you hear noises in the background that's uh, i got my window open but i'm collecting the hasbro power rangers i'm getting rid of like my bandai power rangers so I got, I'm getting rid of like the Legacy Collection, the White Ranger. Um, it's, it's complete. I only had it on for display. Uh, sold it for what I picked it up for um, a couple of years ago, which is like 20 bucks. Um, there's still a pretty good market out there for this. And then um, since the Hasbro uh, Age of Apocalypse X-Men figures are coming out, I figured I'm gonna sell this and uh, go all in on the Hasbro figures so I've got this Sabretooth uh, which has seen better days um, and it's missing its ponytail but I uh, sold it for five bucks plus shipping um, he's actually the person who bought this is actually in the city and I would deliver it but um, I just don't want to take the chance of getting sick um, with everything that's going on so yeah um, and I got a few more that I need to pack, so uh, let's get to Hey, what's up? So I just received a package and I got it from Poshmark. I'm gonna open it up. Um, I'm gonna do a live unboxing so you could all see my excitement or my disappointment. But I know what this is. Um, I just don't know what the sizing is. 
I got this t-shirt in and I'm really excited about it initially. Uh, grew up in the 90s and big fan of hip hop. Um, so when people talk about who the GOAT is, um, and if you don't know what that acronym is, uh, greatest of all time, um, I typically say Tupac. So I've got my Tupac graphic t-shirt and it's not vintage. Um, at least I don't think it is, but I like the graphic and I thought it was awesome. And God can judge me. Tupac. Really cool. Happy to have this. Pretty crispy too. Looks like they just printed it, but um, I don't think it's um, I don't think this is vintage. This is made on a fat dog T-shirt. Double XL. Um. Had I known that wrap t-shirts would be so expensive nowadays in 2020, um, I would have bought so many of them uh, in the 90s because that was the era that I grew up in. And I can remember um, walking in Uptown and uh, going to, walking through the different neighborhoods and you would see a lot of like these bootleg t-shirts and these, um, hair care salons or like these hair care products uh, spots and there would be tons of them lined up um, had I known how expensive or how big the demand would be for like these t-shirts I would have bought all those t-shirts but this is really cool um, it's a double XL I did get a, a little curvy a little more fluffy during quarantine so I'm happy to have this um, can't wait to rock this post quarantine. So this is gonna be, I'm happy to have this grail. Yeah, got a few more packages to open up, but um, I think we're off to a good start. All right, so since I sold my Bandai White Ranger, um, I'm gonna open up my Hasbro White Ranger. Um, yeah, these figures are pretty awesome. Um, I actually have the Green Ranger in the Bandai series, the little Legacy series. And um, I'm trying to look for a Hasbro uh, version of that, but I was looking on eBay and they're so expensive right now. Um, unfortunately, so I might have to hold off on the Hasbro White Ranger for a while or forever um, because that's super expensive um, but I'm happy to have this so I just opened the box I'm gonna check out and see how this guy is I'm gonna try not to save the box because um, I have a bad habit of keeping the boxes It's a cool box though, it's a cool window box. I might, I might, I don't know, I might cut this out and, and keep that because that's a cool, that's a cool pose. We'll see. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to declutter my environment, right? So I'm, I'm definitely gonna, if I don't keep it, I'm gonna recycle that stuff. joints are pretty good um the one thing i worry about with like the hasbro figures is sometimes when you take them out of the package they're already loose um and that's not the case with this um but sometimes they're too tight so when you try to manipulate them i'm scared of breaking it but like this Just a ratchet joint but like that was a bit too high but look I mean like my uh, the Bandai Ranger that I had um, had abs in here and like he had huge muscles this looks 
much more realistic. They take out Sabo. Hopefully they don't break them. And this is a pretty solid accessory. I think they did a really good job with this. They painted everything. You see that? Hopefully you could focus. It has this, um, I guess this is like a, uh, when he morphs or something, but like this is like a little power surge type thing. And you got the alternate, you got an alternate head. Um, I got the fan in the background, so that's why I'm trying to speak closer to the mic, but you got Tommy's head. It doesn't look exactly like him, with the exception of the ponytail. I mean, and you got the alternate hands. Really cool. Um, I'm probably not gonna use those. I get too like paranoid of like breaking the figure. Um, so this is the sheath for uh, Saba. Um, so I'm just gonna sheath Saba. Hopefully I could maybe like this. Put his arm like that. There you go. Forward. That looks pretty cool. Um, the helmet looks pretty awesome as well. Overall, I'm really happy with this figure. Aesthetically, it looks amazing. Really cool. I'm happy to have this. Um, so far, all of my uh, Hasbro Power Rangers. Um, all of them have come with like the, uh, the extra armor, even the Black Ranger. Um, it has like the Green Ranger armor, which is really cool. Um, I hope they re-release the Green Ranger so I could get it at an affordable price. But I think I'm probably going to resell my um, my like Bandai Green Ranger. Um, just because I think moving forward the Hasbro is the way to go for me I, I really like these figures much more than the, the Bandai's um, which like Bandai has like a whole like you know like a special place in my heart um, I got the uh, I've got the original Megazord the Dragon Zord and the, the white uh, white Zord white Megazord um, so yeah pretty cool um, hopefully this is still available for you. I don't know if GameStops are open. Um, I haven't really been checking re uh, retail stores lately, so, um, yeah, really cool figure. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I might have, like, another package to open up. Maybe, no, maybe not. Yeah, we'll save that. But yeah, really cool figure. Um, glad to add this to my collection, and I'm just... I'm redoing like my whole display on like my windowsill so stay tuned for that um, hopefully you like that as well so thanks for watching uh, happy Memorial Day check you guys later